Ready to roll. <laughs> All right. All right, Maestro. Turn off the music. Music is off. Outstanding. Hey, well, it's uh, Friday, right? So Friday, and uh, welcome to our Facebook Live. It is a little after 3 p.m., and hopefully we have some valued content to share with you today. But uh, before we get started with all that great stuff, we're going to hear some good stuff from Lynn about who we are and where we came from. <laughs> Thank you for listening in today. If you don't know who we are, we are Lynn and Will of lynnandwill.com. And what do we do? We are digital networkers. Using the attraction marketing formula, we can help coach you, educate you, train you, mentor you to grow your business online and live up to your potential. With all of this global pandemic, there's many people who are looking for other ways to increase their revenue. And online is certainly a great place to start. So if you are interested in up-leveling your skills, learning the formula that is a proven step-by-step blueprint proven then this is where you need to be if you're a leader if you're an entrepreneur if you have a network marketing company whatever it is if you have a business that you want to expand online the attraction marketing formula is perfect for you because you will reach that global audience and the most important part is that you will target your audience. People will come to you who are already interested. You are not chasing, you are not prospecting, and guess what? These are actual professional skill sets that you can parlay into other areas. So it's a great community of like-minded, very positive people to be a part of, and we are very, very grateful that we found it, and we can help you to grow your business online. Outstanding. So there's two things I want to bring to your attention. Uh, both of them Lynn uh, mentioned. One was targeting your audience, and number two was um, skill set. So uh, learning this attraction marketing skill set, it's not going out and buying some computer program or going out and having someone produce something for you. It's actually a skill set, it's something that you learn and educate yourself about and continually educate yourself about. The second thing is targeting your audience. I always look at it this way, and I say it, and I'll say it again. Uh, there's 45% of the world's population that is out there on social media in some shape or form, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, whatever it might be. So that is the big highway or traffic of people out there cruising around on this highway. So somehow you want to be able to attract that traffic to come down your road so you can show them their offer instead of making that list of 100, uh, doing the one-on-one -on -one, uh, coffee shop meetings, doing the three-way phone calls, uh, chasing your family and friends. So all that stuff is gone. We used to do that. <laughs> Believe me, we did a lot of it, didn't we? Uh, we probably either ruined or you know really stressed out some relationships with either family or friends because they didn't want to hear about our offer. Uh, we go in one door, they go out the other. It's just crazy stuff. We don't have to do that anymore. I think a big element too is that we didn't come across professional because we were trying to talk about what our opportunity was or our products to people who simply weren't interested. They didn't reach out to us, we reached out to them. Yeah. Attraction marketing is polar opposite. We People are reaching out to you, they already know what your offer is, by and large, once they connect with us. Yeah, we become, become salesy, right? That doesn't exist with this. It's, it's a skill set, it's leveraging the internet, it's a professional skill set. And it's very smart because it's like a funnel. It, you tailor make it to the people that you're interested in attracting. Or that they're interested in you, okay. by the way. So anyway, today we have some great stuff. We're gonna talk about the five worst traffic mistakes and how to avoid them. 
and uh, five of them. So one of them is poor message to market match, relying on free traffic, not having advertising advertisement budget, not committing uh, to yourself, and not and giving up too soon so those are the five before we get to that if you're coming to us live give us a little love by dropping us a heart emoji in the comments section below if you're coming to us on a replay give us a hashtag replay so we can give you a shout out later if you have any comments questions or concerns during this facebook live by all means drop them in the comments section below or you can simply send us a message and we'll answer it that way um, and we always love to know where our audience is coming from on this big, beautiful blue marble. So if you would drop your location in the comments section below, we'd like to know where you're coming from. So uh, also, is there any other little call to actions that you want to throw in there? Or no. maybe we'll do it later, right? So um, we're going to go ahead and start off with Lynn. Is gonna, we have five of these to go over. So she's going to take Wait. a little bit, and I'm going to do a little bit. She's going to take a little bit, and I'm going to do a little bit. So, uh, and we're ready to roll, drum roll. So the first uh, traffic mistake that you do not want to occur. Now you realize traffic is on the internet. It's just like in the sky, right? Airports, airplanes all over the place going every which way. And the air traffic controllers in various airports are directing those airplanes where they need to go but it's a super highway up there same thing with the internet you're driving traffic to you to your opportunity or to your products and the number one mis mis the first mistake you don't want to make is a poor message to your market a poor message would be something like this get rich quick make a massive amount of money anything with claims that are magnanimous <laughs> yeah well I couldn't even say that word magnanimous are not good it's not good for the person who may be interested it's misleading you don't want to do that yes can you create massive results absolutely but are you going to guarantee that or are you going to try to sell with those type of words no it makes it makes you quite simply feel icky anybody with a certain level of reasonableness is going to think this isn't legit I'm not interested in that at all and you're not coming from a posture of being a leader either if you're saying claims like that so stay away from messaging that is really degrading honestly right even though it could be true, that is not how you want to present yourself, get rich quick, or anything along those lines. So stay away from speaking like that. Right. So. Is that it for there? Yeah, right. So I, I just want to add one more thing to, you know, about this traffic gizmo. You know, remember I said about the highway. So uh, the highway of a bunch of cars on there, what, two and a half billion here on Facebook alone. So, uh, Let's say all of a sudden the traffic light stopped working. What a, what, a, what a crazy mess that would be. So this is exactly what would happen to your network marketing business if you didn't adjust uh, your methods by what we're trying to tell you today, these five, these five big mistakes. So the, uh, step number one there, or traffic, uh, the worst traffic step number one is a poor message to market match, as Lynn had said. So there's two types of markets. Of course, there's a cold market and there's a warm market. So you want, want to be able to tailor your ads or your, your content to those two different markets. So example of maybe a cold market uh, uh, ad or content would be uh, a pop-up. Uh, you, you, know, you know, you've been in something, working on something, all of a sudden a pop-up come up, join this, do that. So that's a cold market technique. Um, uh, that's that, or a medium. The other one are banners, you know, banners flying by, kind of like that one below us. Uh, and uh, what they call solo ads. Those are different types of uh, cold market mediums that you use to get your traffic down to you. Um, remember, cold market people are the ones that they really aren't looking for you. They have no idea who you are. They're, they don't know you. All of a sudden, they see something about you, and then they act upon it. So that's the cold market. The warm market, they already have a no like, and trust with you. 
So they're the ones that are looking at your emails, going to your fan page, going into your, uh, your groups, uh, or reading your blogs, or watching your Facebook Lives. So those are the, that's your warm market group. So you want to make sure you tailor the stuff that you put out there as far as your content to those two groups, cold market and warm market. That's all I got to say about that part. Perfect. So we're on to the second one, free traffic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you don't want to start out with free traffic. That's something akin to somebody who is great musically and is on a street corner and playing their music, but you <laughs> don't know who they are. Yeah. Right? So you need to start out with paid traffic. Don't even attempt any kind of free traffic because you need to um, establish yourself, who you are, what you have to offer. So take it away, Mr. Klum. All right, cool. Sorry. Like we got a bunch of equipment going on over here at the different platforms. So uh, I might keep having to adjust it. I think I have the wrong feed speed in there. I've been messing around with the Anyway. Um, so relying on free traffic. So you don't want to rely on free traffic, period. Actually, you just want to go with paid traffic right off the bat. You might as well start learning on it because that's where you're going to get your major income. I'll tell you a story. So uh, Lynn and I, we started with paid traffic, and we also did you know, organic, what they call organically, or free traffic. And uh, one point in time, uh, we, as rookies, uh, had our ad account shut down through Facebook. So all of a sudden, the numbers started you know, declining uh, with our traffic. And uh, it was just enlightened me how important paid traffic is. It's very important. And it doesn't cost you a lot of money. You can spend $5 a day, $10 a day, $50 a day, whatever, you, whatever, whatever your budget is. So paid traffic, you might as well just start right off the bat with it because that is probably the number one skill set that you have to learn to become an attraction marketer on social media. Let me see, do I have anything else? Nope. <laughs> Which brings us to number three, no advertising budget. You need to have an advertising budget. So if you have a brick and mortar type of business, a building or a service or something where it's on the ground, it's not on the internet, you do engage in, in advertising, right? Everybody does. You need, to, you need to inform people so they know what your hours of operation are, what your exact services are, what your costs are perhaps. All of that and just draw attention to where you're located same thing with internet marketing and attraction marketing you need to start out with a budget and it doesn't need to be a hundred dollars a day you can start for as little as five dollars a day or even less than that we five... run, yeah we run campaigns for two dollars two dollars a day right but you do need to have a budget and you need to allocate money towards your budget it's part of of growing online so remember that don't don't think that you can't have an advertising budget you must have an advertising budget yep and it doesn't need to be a lot of money but you definitely must incorporate that into your plan just think of it this way think of it you're buying data if you're in a marketing, if you're in a marketing business, you have to get data, and the best way and the cheapest way, believe it or not, is to actually buy your data. So by advertising through Facebook or through whatever social media you're using, you are actually buying data. Uh, second thing is you really need to disassociate yourself from the money thing. So once you come up with a budget, if you're in a partnership or if you're on your own. You come up with a budget and you stick to it and disassociate, disassociate yourself from the money. It's kind of like uh, paying off something and you've been missing that money anyway when you're done paying it off. So you move that money from paying off something into saving it because you already were living without it anyway. So it's kind of just disassociate yourself with that money and commit to it. Very good. 
Excellent. Okay, so the fourth traffic mistake that you don't want to incur is not committing to yourself. So you need to have a, an accountability partner. In my case, we are each other's accountability partner. If we didn't have each other, I mean, there's many other people within the attraction marketing community that can certainly be your accountability partner or people within your network marketing business or whomever. But but committing to yourself is first and foremost, you have to believe in yourself, trust in yourself, know that you can do it. If you don't commit to yourself, that's not exhibiting a discipline, but are you posturing yourself as a leader? Are people going to want to learn from you and be trained by you? No, you need to be disciplined. You need to commit to yourself. Every thing that you try isn't necessarily going to work. So it's just a way of being redirected to something that's better for you and it's working for you. A failure is not working against you. Rethink that. But you need to stay committed because if you don't stay committed to what your plan is, well, it's not going to work. Simply, you're not going to succeed at anything, frankly. Right, exactly. So committing to yourself is first and for foremost a very important aspect. Good. So um, I'm going to talk about goals. So um, Lynn and I have a ton of them. We have daily goals. We have uh, weekly goals. We have monthly goals. We have 30-day goals. Or that is 30 days monthly. 30 days. So 30-day goals or monthly goals. We also have 90-day goals and one-year goals. So we have all those things. So every evening we sit down and go over uh, at least the daily and weekly, which which lead to the other ones. And uh, I ask her questions. She asks me questions, and we fill out basically a little checklist. It only takes maybe. 10 minutes yeah at the most so uh we call them dmos 2020s uh there's various names that we come up with them uh to actually keep us on uh schedule or on the road on the road the right road um and also it gives you a way to a look back uh which is going to be our next topic and and see where you came from so you can look at your accomplishments and the places where you maybe made a wrong turn and so you, you don't make those mistakes again because you made them, you documented them, you know, oh, I'm not going to do that again. Or, wow, that was a great thing. I'm going to keep doing that. So you can look back at yourself and, and move forward that way. And the biggest thing I'm going to leave you with on this one, not committing to yourself, is you are not an employee. When you're a network marketer, you are not an employee. You are a entrepreneur. That means you got to act, react, and work on your own. Right. No one's going no to tell you to do something. It's the beauty of being an entrepreneur, but also in the same vein, you need to be accountable to yourself and you need to really have a daily plan of action and know what you want to accomplish that day and do it. Because if you don't do it, what's going to happen? Hmm. Nothing. Nothing, right. Yeah, inaction is no right. action, right? So, yes. Wow. So yeah. the fifth is, did you have anything else to say? No, that was it. You, okay. You rock on. So the fifth is giving up too soon. Arr. Right. Well, if you give up too soon, what's going to happen? You're not going to reach your goal. You need to believe in yourself. Commit to yourself. Have your goals written down. And just like we had stated, be accountable for what you want to create it's simply that simple no one's going to do it for you but you must do it if you give up well then where are you <laughs> you're not going anywhere. You no know, you're going nowhere as bill and entrepreneurs simply don't quit you are being rerouted or redirected if something didn't work for you in my particular case something did not work for me trying to build a business with older with tacit tactics offline simply didn't work for me it's been it's worked for other people yes but we didn't quit we didn't quit but found another way that is working for us right yeah so you've been doing network marketing for three and a half mm -hmm. almost four years and I've, I've probably about a year and a half maybe 
So she ta taught me that not we're looking for a different way or a different method of of doing this business. Well, actually, Lynn found Attraction Marketing. Thank you so much. Well, I'm very blessed that she did because it's really cranked it since then. But um, we didn't quit. We just were looking for a different way of accomplishing this mission. And that was to make this network marketing business grow because we believe in the products and the services that we, uh, we offer. So we just wanted to make it work. Right. Oh, I was so dedicated and committed and the goal is still there. So we took it upon each of us took it upon ourselves to invest in ourselves too. And when you make an investment in your self, it's, always a great idea it isn't a bad idea no way right i was going to tell a story about kyle menard but i'll forgive for <laughs> that i'll just leave i'll just leave it with that so it's, it's a wonderful story about kyle menard uh who's a uh a limbless uh person who climbed the kilimanjaro and uh he wanted to quit he was in pain he was horrible but he went kept going back uh to the point where uh, he was actually carrying the ashes of uh, a fallen soldier for, uh, that a mother had given him to take to the summit. And uh, because he had that with him, he didn't quit. So uh, just kind of think of something that's why you want to, whatever that, what is that, that go to. How are you going to feel about yourself if you give up? All right. Yeah. Is it going to feel good? No, dig deep. Something my mother always said, and she was watching her earlier. So she always told me that... Uh, Winners never quit, and quitters never win. Or wait, quitters never win, and winners never quit. <laughs> so that, there we go. That's how it goes. So I'm going to leave you with this part. So, uh, you know, again, entrepreneurs don't quit. Uh, we fail, and we fail some more, and then we fail and until we succeed. To, until we succeed. So we fall, we get up. We fall, we get up. We fall, we get up. And uh, hopefully we don't fall as much as we get along down the road right so so drop us a one if we gave you some value please let us know we hope we did some little tip some nugget something you can take away and say aha okay that makes sense yeah please drop us a one because we kind of want to know if we gave you the value we do want to know right absolutely so oh wow we've been kind of like yik yakking for a while there haven't we so, um, as, as normal, I'm going to put a link on this Facebook Live. We'll bring you to this blog. And in this blog, we're going to be able to offer you a free 10-day attraction marketing boot camp, uh, which will be 10 days of video content that will really uh, get your wheels going and turn on a few light bulbs on what exactly attraction marketing is. Uh, also, uh, Lynn, we also have uh, this book right here. Right, the Attraction Marketing Formula. This is a proven step-by-step -step guide in which to grow your business online. When I mean proven, it is proven. There are very recognizable names out there on the internet that have used this method and have parlayed it in a very successful brand, <laughs> branding of themselves. Right. Tons we, of people. Right, which is a great way, which is great, right, to brand yourself so you're not attached necessarily to a company. You have created that no like and trust relationship, which is so pivotal and so important. If you're right. interested, if water. you're a leader, if you're interested in learning how you can attract people to you, building that system that Taylor makes everybody toward you like a funnel, then you need to grab that book. Right. It's as simple as that. It works. And I'll put a link on our Facebook Live for that book, The Attraction Marketing Formula, which is 185 pages and 10 chapters of great stuff. Lynn and I read it in 24 hours. That's how we got started for $27. Now, when you get down to that, Grab that link. You want to switch all the way to, or get all the way down to the bottom. Make sure you have your card in hand, uh, because you only have 59 minutes to act on it. Otherwise, the price is going to go up 72 percent, and we can't do anything about it. So, 27 dollars, and get it within an hour. And that book is your 185 pages of great stuff. 
Perfect. And lastly, Monday. What are we talking about Monday? How to write killer ad copy. Uh, it's going to be good stuff. Right. It is good stuff, right? Yeah. Getting right into the nuts and bolts. What attracts people? What repels them? And then lastly, uh, we'll be on our ninth book on Tuesday. And that is How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Selling, written in 1952. So that'll be on Tuesday. At 3 o'clock on Monday, Eastern Standard Time, we're going to talk about how to write some killer ad copy. Again, drop us a one if we gave you some value. We want to see that we did. We hope that we did. And everybody have a wonderful weekend. We, And uh, with that being said, peace, peace love, love. And, and light. light. Peace out, everybody. See you Monday at 3. 3 p.m. Bye-bye now. Have a great weekend.